So today, I want to talk to you a little bit about contributing. <laughs> Not actually money. Um, <laughs> uh, so I guess the con contributions I'm talking about, many people will probably first think about when you're contributing to an open source project, you're contributing code or changes in that way, but that's not true. There's a lot of different ways that we can contribute to an open source project. Uh, in particular, I'm gonna be focusing today on the Selenium, obviously, um, but there, this kind of applies to many other projects that you'll find on GitHub, Bit, or like Bitbucket, or various other open source platforms. Uh, so things that we're gonna talk about um, that you can contribute to are the uh, other items like not just code or bug fixes that pertain to maybe something that you care about or someone else has reported, but you can do things like improve the test suite of Selenium itself. Um, we have documentation. Uh, there's seleniumhq.org. Uh, there's also a new, I guess, uh, a new documentation site that we're trying to work on, but it's not quite there yet. Uh, there are helping with other other people's issues on the issue tracking list, uh, reproducing their, their problems, um, code reviewing pull requests if you feel capable enough to look at someone's proposed changes and give them feedback. Uh, also, responding to the users lists, uh, like Google Groups or Stack Overflow and that sort of thing. Um, so let's talk about that first. Uh, there, there's various forums that uh, Selenium uses for discussion of, of uh, I guess, you know, issues that users encounter. Uh, maybe some of you have used some of these, but one of the things that make these, this, these forums work is other users responding and giving advice, feedback, answering questions, and that's, that's a very important thing to contribute to the project. Uh, we, our Selenium users group would probably not be as active if we didn't have very many people responding to the repose. If, you know, it, it would feel like a black hole otherwise, and we don't want that to happen. So uh, having more people follow up on, uh, you know, post the users list, I would say you don't need to necessarily respond to everything. Don't try to do that only respond to things that you know about. Uh, a good learning tool also is res looking at people's questions and going, oh, I don't know how that actually works, and either looking into it or, you know, hopefully following along and seeing if someone else gives some advice. Uh, I would highly recommend not trying to uh, 